Hey look. everyone, Broadbent here, and welcome hey bro, what's back up, bro, to another Valheim up, update video. Today we're going to be breaking down everything that is new in the Hearth and Home update. So mm. without further ado, let's uh, I'm watching this video. So because of how large this update is, it's yeah. actually a lot bigger than expected. There's quite a lot of really cool stuff in here. Okay. Um, I'm going to be sort of going through this in no particular order. But I'm going to try I and categorize this. it the best I can. One other thing, if you do find this video helpful and informative, if you could press the like button, that would be absolutely dope. So first cool. off, we're going to cover all of the buildables that have been added to the game. So these are going to be found in the right-click menu for the hammer. Now, one minor change that is worth noting <laughs> is that the hearth has been retextured. It looks a little bit cleaner and fancier now. Hmm. We've had three new piles or stacks added to the game. So that's one for core wood, one for fine wood, and a coal pile. It okay. just adds a nice little extra way to spice up the outside area of your base. We've got a brand new treasure the chest, table, but right? that this is not actually a fully functional chest. It's more of a decorational piece that requires oh, treasure man. to build. And then when you go to break it, you get the treasure back. Along with the treasure chest, we've okay. got the coin pile and coin stack, which you can finally use your coins for and actually build something cool with them. Next up, we've got the made table, it like I suggested it should work. main feature of this video. Ooh. Now, this table allows you to transfer your map data and the areas you've explored onto somebody else's map. You do this by going up to it, interacting with it, That's and it transfers cool. your data to the table. Then your friend can come up to the table and then retrieve the data off the table. That's Next cool. Next up, we've got the crafting. That's tab. very so cool. In the cooking section, Dude. we have a lot of nice new upgrades for the cauldron. We've got the iron cooking station, which is required to cook some types of meat. The spice rack, butcher table, and mm -hmm. pots and pans are all upgrades for the cauldron, which basically allows you to access higher tier foods. Next up, right. we also have a stone oven. Now, this is going to be going forward the way that you bake bread and pies which is really nice now that we've got like a dedicated thing for that it makes so much more sense one of the coolest features in this update is the obliterator now this i heard about this i heard about this this is the thing right that you don't want for coal so you build the uh, obliterator you chuck some items in then pull the lever to the right and thought will exchange them no way oh, this is something that the community has wanted for a no long way. time it's just a way to delete items and i love <laughs> that you get items back or re like something back in return damn that's good nice job iron gate next up we've got all of the building pieces that's very cool so first up is the wood wall one by one tiles god so damn it what if you're holding on to like walls? if you're nearby or you're Finally, touching you, you don't get zapped 26 degree and 45 degree inverted sloped wall do you do you get like yeah, zapped and so stuff good. if you're like touching it <laughs> Along with is that, that a thing got 26 and 45 what game is this this is valheim my guy you can have angled beams now a brand you know, Valheim, for your windows, My, you Nor Nordic, Nordic Minecraft. So this acts just as much as a door, except it is one meter tall and okay. one meter wide, and you can add two of them, so it's okay. two meter wide. Next up, we have all of the dark wood buildables. Now, to mm. make dark wood, you do need tar and wood, which we'll circle back around to tar later on in okay. the video. So the dark you can zap enemies with it? That's awesome. Make a box around and jam someone in there. <gasps> Marky. Different types of get a boo box, bro. We can have a fucking boo box. You know how cool that'd be? Beams, which have a nice fancy Viking Minecraft. Yeah, that's, more, that's, like, that's what's pretty much for that. Also got the carved dark wood Always design, wanted to. Nice just to add a little bit of it'd be a cool game if we could jam, man. If you want, like, a yeah, get a bunch of people in here to jam, jam well, with it and stuff. Least, we also have the dark wood arch, which is They're pretty sick. It's just a nice little arch. Just made out of dark wood. Moving mm -hmm. on to the final few buildables here. We have the raven and wolf adornment, which obviously you sort of know where this goes. We've got some brand new cage wall and floor buildables, which look amazing, by the way. Mm -hmm. They cost two iron, I think, so they're quite expensive. Keen. Um, obviously, I think it changes for the one and two, too, man. two variants. Come with friends? Finally, yeah, dude. We have the crystal Very fun wall. to play with others. It's made out of crystals that you get from stone golems. But we have Basically, new more coming like soon. A Not very I, long, I've man. had some issues building with it myself, such as you can't build a... Um, you can't stack one on top of the other for some reason. Oh, man. So... I don't know, have a mess around with it, see what you think, but I think basically it's supposed to be a window. And the final section for the buildables is going to be the miscellaneous section. So, this is huge, alright? You ready for this? We have a black metal chest. This chest is gigantic. Okay. It fills out the entire slot of a chest GUI. So, you can store so much stuff in this. Obviously, this does come at quite a big price, and it's a late game item, but um... I love it. Great it's job. not like this takes weeks to play out. Pieces, like the um, get one to do the bosses, the one for loots, so one for builds. We good. Yeah, true, true, true. Has to be before the new world because Crab Jazz myself won't have tight lives. Yeah, dude, me neither. Torch, me neither. 
no fucking way, man. I'd be able to up on that new world shit. For sure. And the white and blue strength banner, which I'm pretty sure both of those are new. And finally, we have the hot tub, so you and the boys can chill nice and warm in your... They've been listening. They've been listening. Everyone, everyone, everyone was in the hot tub meta. And then now they're bringing out hot tubs in the game. Classy. Fucking hot tub. <laughs> you won't have a hot tub to the... You never know, bro. They might actually bring one in just to be like... You know. Chilling with the boys in the hot tub, you know what I mean? base. So now let's talk quickly about some more general changes. God damn. So first of all, the food status bar has been completely replaced with timers. The base so, tells you how many minutes is left. New world is coming food. soon. It's We're going to be playing that. Clear, I, think, for newer players. I don't know if we're going to be doing a lot of it on stream. I'm not sure. Oak trees and also onions, which is a new addition. Oh. We'll get into that later. That tree got big. Hot tub is your GPU water cooler frying. Nice yeah, bro, that's what it is. Hot tub is what is going on with my fucking dropped lag frames lag right now. Like, legit. One thing to know is that this Does this mean I have to NA account, AU account? Grow. Don't think so? I think you should just be able to go across, right? When it comes to games, cross cross play stuff, or, you know, like a different cross server and all that sort of shit, they really should do it this way. You make your character, then you can go into the world. People just play on a server. Cool, you have all your stuff on the server, whatever it is. But if you make your character, you can just take them wherever and go wherever. Just join through a server. Yeah, that's it. Have you signed in server? That's your character. And then you can just go, where, where, where are the guys? I'm going to play here. Okay, cool. Update. And honestly, it doesn't make too much sense, but I think that's probably the better way to go, so go forward. Yeah. Correct for new world? Okay. Got a bit of so you make your dude and then you go into the world, right? Gaddy, is that how it works when you were? I don't know. I have to Controversy surrounded also, can you find me a new world video? I want to watch a new world video. I want to get hyped up about that game. Around it, people don't like You're going to have one, two in each server. Nice. Food has been sort of drifted into one of three categories. It's either going to give you mostly health, mostly stamina, or a good balance between the two. Now, you can tell what it is by the food icon. Oh, jerky. Boy, make me hungry. Stamina, red for health, and white make me dead hungry. Balance, which is for both. So you do have to be a little bit more careful now on what you eat. I, people you know what I mean? That it's just a little bit harder to meet your requirements with stamina and stuff. So, so have you can find me a video, video please, Gaddy. About the new food rebalance. You're a legend. One thing to know is that you also get more information when you hover over food items, which can help bro. decide if you want to eat it or not. Don't talk to me about dinner, bro. I'm not dinner yet. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Come home, and I was like, oh yeah, uh, I need a stream. Okay. Uh, Another what am I gonna have for dinner? Let's just, do, let's just get on the stream and do this. So blocking is no longer tied to your stamina. Blocking is directly impacted by your health. There's also been a okay. secret bar GUI that's been added, which is basically a little bar to the right of your crosshair. And if Ooh. that bar reaches the top, you're going to get knocked back. Character stuck to zones in his DMs. Thanks, man. That is what happens when that bar reaches the top. So you get hit, the bar goes up, and then it has to cool back down. So if you're surrounded by five enemies and they're just do -do 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 -do, you're gonna get staggered and you're gonna have a cooking stream confirmed 100 percent mess around with this properly um but i think this is gonna be a really cool in for a few in, bef in before a few slices of bread, slice of bread fly in the room <laughs> this is in here man <laughs> be, it would be probably tamed animals so if you want to give them a nice cool name you can do that if you want to call one barry oh big boy do that Wait, this guy's on point. Been added to disable auto picking up items, which is really nice if you want to go and walk through somewhere with loads of drops. The default key is V. If you press it, you will no longer pick up items. Press it hmm. again, and you will. Really nice. <gasps> You've got two you guys got vacuum butt. options, which I don't fully understand. Basically, one is called active point lights, and the other is called active point light shadows. Okay. I went around for about half an hour trying to figure out where this actually applies to the world, and I couldn't find it. So, circling back to Tar. Tar is Abby, what up? How you doing? Long time no see. How you been? It, so let's just break it it's down been a minute, yeah? Here. To get Tar, what you need to do is head <laughs> into the plains biome and find the Tar Pits. These Tar Pits are very, very dangerous. There is a new mob called Growth that protects it and shoots Tar at you. Oh, jeez. It does slow you down, and they deal a lot of damage. So, be prepared. This is not going to be an easy fight. <laughs> When you get that's the, the top, that's the that's the 3D eyes. that's the 3D scan BJ poop that was supposed to be in Sky Oblivion. Here it is, here it is. I just animated it. We found it, boys. We found it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We found it. <laughs> as if the plan, as if the planes weren't lethal enough. Yeah, bro. Good to see you again. Thank you, Abby. Thank you. How you been? How have you been? That's BJ's poop. Hundred percent. 
around. Animated now and animated form. Animated, animated form. They got blobs now. We'll have to kill the growth or the tar at that pit. Some cool things to know about this tar is it is dynamic liquid. So what that means is basically if you were to dig away the terrain, the liquid would flow down the hill. Mm. Really cool to see. And finally, in this we'll video, do it then, dude. All the new items that are in the game. He would do it. One is the Thunderstone, which is sold by the trader in the Black Forest. Okay. Thunderstone basically allows you to communicate with Thor. <laughs> so get out of here. Build the Obliterator. So keep that in mind. If you want to have that Exchanger, you will need to have the trader discovered. There's also apparently okay. a new way to throw up the foods that you have eaten using something called puke berries or puke berries. I don't know which Ooh. one the game is preferring right now. I would love to comment. Yeah, good, good, this. good. We just, you know, we thought, we thought, thought hey, it's been long enough. May as well fire up a stream and, and come back to YouTube and hang out and watch some cool videos and hang out with people. Anywhere. So if you know where they are, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Along with the Lock okay. Readable, you can now also ride them. Yep, with a brand new item called the Locks Saddle, you can just jump straight on and ride this thing around dude control it. the controls are on the water dude strange at first but when she <gasps> used them, it swims it's nice and easy no the way exploring the planes a whole lot nicer for those of you that are wondering yes you can also swim with them to make farming Bro. a lot easier they've added a new tool called the butcher's knife which basically one hits any tamed animal so do be careful with this one the butcher's knife will not deal any damage to structures so you can easily kill any animal that's cool in a small area of a building and you won't destroy it really nice addition alongside this you can no longer kill tamed animals with just a default sword okay that will deal damage to structures you need the butcher's knife to kill them we have two new weapons. First of all, the silver knife. Then we've got the crystal battle axe. The crystal Oi. battle axe seems to Oi. be the first crystal weapon that we have got in the game. Once again, you can get the crystals from killing the golems <laughs> in the snow biome. So Bruh, every time. Every time I'll be making, making that noise. Well, it's good mid game weapon. Holy we shit. Shields added. We've got the iron buckler and the bone tower shield. I've got to say, the bone tower shield looks damn good. Nice job on that design. Mm -hmm. And last but definitely not least, we can the talk cupcake. about the new foods and meats that are in the There's game. There's fucking cupcake. So we've got the did, did, deer meat and wolf meat. Do they have cupcake in there? Items now. So when you kill <gasps> that mob, it's you cupcake. get a specific meat type. As for the new foods, the actual Do they have waffles? Because we, we all know waffles are better than pancakes, cake, right? Bread dough, which basically gives you twice as much oh bread now. Oh my god. Ten flour, yeah, I mean, it's like names you haven't seen in forever. We're all hanging out, man. It's fantastic. It's so awesome to have... To be, able to, to be able to come back and just like have just stew, eyes cream, this warm hug, this warm hug from everyone, man. Need the oven for. Okay. Soup, minced meat sauce. We've got the muck waffles shape, are better than the pancakes. They 100 are. Oh, I have waffles in the fridge. Finally, <gasps> I can eat so waffles after this. Completely farmable. If you want to know how yes. to grow onions at your own. Place, <gasps> and I have ice cream too. Ooh, it's on. Abandoned village. You will have to venture into the snow. Well, everyone, that is going to be everything for this update video. Heart God damn. Is finally out. I think it took about six months for this update. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Um, okay. I think this update turned out to be a lot bigger than expected, and I am very happy with it. I know it I'm doing it, man. I'm going in. Waffles off this. Small dev team. Off the stream. And it's fine. It's It'll be like fine. 10 o'clock. Great job. <laughs> It'll be like that. They absolutely love it. Looking forward to future updates. That is going to be everything. If you enjoyed oh, the video, shit. don't forget to leave a like. It That's really cool. That's cool. It's very cool. If you want to see more Valheim content, consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe later on. That's going to be everything. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you next time. I feel I feel like uh, I feel like this type of uh, like. It's such a blessing and a curse because what ends up happening with stuff like this, with games like this. Either one or two things happen. When something like New World comes out, everyone's going to go, oh, New World, let's go over there. And then this might be left behind, but then you're going to split a fracture in the player base. But then, you know, people will end up coming back. But you end up having this thing where people divert their attention towards something else. And they may not necessarily come back. So not a bad timing to put something out like this, especially given, you know, New World's coming through soon. And there's there something about the devs that were saying that they, they were with... The, with the new update, the Hearth and Home update, they would want people just to restart the game and just go from scratch again instead of continuing on. Um, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. God damn.